It's official. NVIDIA has hit a $3 trillion market cap and is now bigger than Apple. Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition, all the daily AI headline news you need in around five minutes. NVIDIA's meteoric rise simply will not stop. We've got CEO Jensen Huang signing women's chests over here. And now NVIDIA has surged past $3 trillion of market cap to become the second largest public company in the US, trailing only Microsoft and now exceeding Apple. They are now only the third company in US history behind Apple and Microsoft to have crossed that $3 trillion threshold. The company's stock is up nearly 150% this year after rising 239% last year. Compare that to Apple, which is up just 1.7% on the year. Part of the reason for excitement this week is that NVIDIA announced that they're speeding up the rate at which they roll out improvements. They announced a new platform called Rubin, which is slated to come out in 2026, which will succeed the Blackwell, which was only announced back in March, and was dubbed at the time the world's most powerful chip. Wrote senior equity analyst Angela Zeno, We think NVIDIA is on pace to become the most valuable company, given the plethora of ways it can monetize AI, and our belief that it has the largest addressable market expansion opportunity across the tech sector. Now, for people who think that AI is in a bubble, this is doing nothing to help that out. Investor Sam Lesson wrote, The idea that NVIDIA is now more valuable than Apple means something is dramatically mispriced. Either Apple's $400 billion in revenue and $125 billion in EBITDA is way too cheap, or NVIDIA's $60 billion in revenue and 30 billion in EBITDA is too expensive. Not to play devil's advocate to Sam, who by the way is a great follow on Twitter, but part of why the markets are pricing these things differently is that they're looking at the trend lines of growth in AI and just seeing a massive market expansion opportunity for NVIDIA. Whereas for a company like Apple, although yes, their revenue is eight times NVIDIA's, they're a company which is struggling with market saturation and trying to find new reasons for people to get excited about their next phone or device. Point being, it's not as apples to apples as it might seem. For now though, NVIDIA does not seem like it's slowing down anytime soon. Although to be clear, none of this is financial advice. Next up in the politics of AI, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is warning that AI poses significant risks to the financial system. The candidate of the speech was the very traditional, lots of opportunities, but also risks kind of a thing. As CNN Business writes, on the opportunity side, Yellen will note how AI has already been used by investors to support forecasting and portfolio management, and by banks to fight fraud and support customer service. However, on the risk side, Yellen is worried about complexity and opacity. She's worried that AI models operate as a black box, and that, quote, if Wall Street firms are relying on mysterious AI models, regulators will struggle to understand how safe their systems truly are. Yellen also plans to cite, quote, inadequate risk management frameworks around AI risks and interconnections that emerge as many market participants rely on the same data and models. This is something that SEC Chair Gary Gensler has been talking about as well. Basically that if everyone is relying on the same models to tell them what to do next, that could exacerbate market moves both on the way up and on the way down. I've spoken about this before, but I think this concern is remarkably overblown. First of all, there's no universe in which everyone is just going to use the same off-the-shelf model. And second of all, Wall Street's entire job is to find unique pieces of data and approaches that give them alpha. I anticipate them being some of the leaders in customization of models that come up with different answers. And to me, it feels like this concentration risk is very much in the realm of the theoretical. However, if you take nothing else away, it's clear this is on the radar for the biggest financial regulators in the world. Over in the world of AI devices, Humane continues to have trouble. The latest is that Humane has warned AI pin owners to, quote, immediately stop using the charging case that came with the pin because issues with the third-party battery cell, quote, may pose a fire safety risk. The company is offering two free months of the subscription as a sorry. Finally today, an interesting new product that lots of people are chatting about is Asana's new AI teammate. Asana is, of course, a team task management platform which helps coordinate around different responsibilities. And the idea of these new AI teammates is that they'll be able to actually use information about historical relationships and past projects to go ahead and assign work to people who have the best match skill sets. Said Asana co-founder and CEO Dustin Moskovitz, we're able to do this better than anyone else because we built Asana on the work graph, which maps the relationship between the work your team does, the information about that work, and the people doing the work. By way of examples, Asana pointed to one unnamed marketing organization where, quote, it says the AI bot is putting together tailored marketing content, translating assets into different languages, and standardizing workflows. The AI teammate will come with a chat-based interface so users can ask it questions. And all of this amounts to yet another push into the agentic space where these tools are just going to get more and more sophisticated and better able to start delivering on more complex tasks. For now, though, that is going to do it for the AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition. Next up, the main episode. 